Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching Yee Mr. Easy and welcome to a new video for A level for lemon since today. We have 2.3 for the board modulus argument form of complex numbers for the questions video. And we'll get started with the first question, but before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss on any future videos. And we'll get started with question one. And these questions are from the core peer one textbook from exercise 2C and 2D, so you can check it out. So anyways, question one. Express these or this this fraction right here in the form of r cos theta plus i sin theta, or the modulus argument form, giving exact values for r and theta where possible, or values to two decimal places otherwise. So we have one over two minus i. So we first have to basically simplify it so that it becomes just like one, one bracket, right? So it's similar to rationalizing the, the denominator, where we times the top and bottom by the by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So be 1 times 2 plus i over 2 minus i times 2 plus i. The top will be 2 plus i and the bottom will be 2 times 2 plus 1 times 1 because that's a speed trick. Because what we do is that we basically just add the, um, the square of this number and this number. So 2 squared plus 1 squared will be equal to 5. So it'd be 5. Oops. 5. And simplifying it, so we'll get us 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5 i, number 1. So let's now find uh, the, the r, which is the modulus. So the modulus, let's give this s to z, will be equal to the root of the x component squared plus the y component squared. And in this case, it will be 2 over 5 squared, 2 over 5 squared, plus 1 over 5 squared. And this will get us, let me just put into my calculator, 2 over 5 squared plus 1 over 5 squared, everything root, we get as root 5 over 5, root 5 over 5, like so. And we now have to find the argument of z. So we know that z lies in the first quadrant because it's 2 root 5 around here and 1 root 5, so it will be around here, so the first quadrant. Therefore, the argument will just be the angle alpha, where this is the angle alpha right here. Therefore, it will be tan inverse or arc tan, y component over x component. y component is 1 over 5, over the x component, 2 over 5. Right? Then we're getting an answer of, let me just put it in my calculator, 1 over tan, 1 over 5, over 2 over 5, and that gets us 0 0.46 to 2 decimal place. 0 0.46, like so. Therefore, we can assemble the whole thing. So therefore, z will be equal to r cos theta plus oops, r cos theta plus i sine theta. And r in this case is root five over five, the modulus of five. Cos theta is zero point four six. Zero point four six plus i. Let me zoom in. I sign zero point four. Oops, it's missing out some words, some letters, some numbers, not letters. So four six, and that's the final answer. And question two or the fourth question: Express a complex number z equals four cos two pi over three plus i sine two pi over three in the form of x plus i y, where x and y are real numbers. So we we'll know that we can basically just times everything by 4 because we can just expand the bracket times and times. Therefore, z can be expressed as 4 cos 2 pi over 3 oops, over 3 plus i 4 sine 2 pi over 3. And let's just evaluate. 4 cos 2 pi over 3 will get us minus 2. So is this part here is minus 2. And 4 sine 2 pi over 3 will get us 2 root 3. So therefore it will be 2i root 3. And that's the answer. And show the complex number z on an argon diagram. So let me just draw an argon diagram. Like so. And the, what, the, the imaginary axis, which is imz, which is basically the y-axis. And the real axis. So the real part in this in this complex number is minus two, right? So therefore it'll be around here. 
and the imaginary part is 2 root 3, which is around 3.46, which is around here. So this would be z, where this is 2 minus 2, and this is 2 root 3. And that's the final answer. And moving on, we have question 3. The complex number z is, real, is such that the modulus of z equals 5, and the argument of z equals 4 pi, sorry, minus 4 pi over 3. Find z in the form of a plus bi, and where a and b are z real numbers to be found. So we can just first write, the, write it in the modulus argument form. So basically z equals r cos theta plus i sine theta. r in this case is the modulus of z, which is 5. And cos theta, theta is minus 4 pi over 3. Minus, minus 4 pi over 3. Plus, oops, it's missing out. Plus i sine minus 4 pi over 3. Like so. Therefore, we can expand the bracket to get four, uh, 5 cos minus 4 pi over 3 plus i5 sine minus 4 pi over 3. And we can evaluate everything. The first, the, the real part would be 5 cos minus 4 pi, pi over 3, 4 pi over 3. And then we'll get us minus 5 over 2. So we minus 5, oops, minus 5 over 2. And the real part, sorry, the imaginary part would be 5 sine minus 4, uh, minus 4 pi over 3 with an i. And then it will be plus 5 root 3 over 2 i. Therefore, 5 root 3 over 2 i. And that's the answer. And there are multiple ways, multiple ways to write this. For example, you can write 5 i over 2 root 3. But this is the most common way of, of writing where i is separate or isolated. And the next question, express the following in, term, in the form of x plus i, y. So we have part c right here. So we first have to find for part c, which is split in half. We first have to find what the, what the combined argument is. So z1, z2, where we just give it as z1 and z2, is equal to z1, the modulus of z1, times the modulus of z2, which is 3 times 2, which is 6. So, and the argument of z1, z2, is to be equal to the argument of z1 plus the argument of z2, arc of z2, which is equal to pi over 4 plus pi over 12. And that will give you an answer of pi over 4 plus pi over 12. Pi over 4 is basically 3 pi over 12. Therefore, it will get you 4 pi over 12, which is 1 over 3 pi. 1 over 3 pi, like so. And therefore, we can now assemble it. And then it'll, so that it will be z. 1, z2 is equal to r is 6 cos theta is 1 over 3 pi 1 over 3 pi plus i sine 1 over 3 pi expand the bracket to get 6 cos 1 over 3 pi plus 6 i sorry 6 i sine 1 over 3 pi and we can basically just evaluate some, evaluate some numbers. So 6 cos 1 over 3 pi will get us 3. And for the 6i sine minus sine 1 over 3 pi will get us 3 root 3. Therefore, it will be 3 plus 3. Oops, 3 plus 3i root 3. And that's the answer. And for part D, we can set this as z1 and z2. Therefore, the modulus of them, z1, z2, is equal to root 6 times root 3, which is root 18, and that can be simplified into 3 root 2. So, 3 root 2. And for the argument, we have to be really careful here. Because, as you said before, modulus argument form has or must be in the form of r cos theta plus i sin theta. And this fulfills it. But this doesn't because this has a sorry, because this has a negative, so this does not fulfill. Therefore, what we have to do is that we have to bring the negative out to the front, sorry, to the bracket to get minus pi over three, minus pi over three, and this becomes a plus. 
Therefore, we can basically rewrite z1. So it's number one. So basically, z1 equals root six and cos minus pi over three plus i sine minus pi over three. Like so. Therefore, the argument of z1, z2, is basically the sum of the arguments, and the argument for z1 is minus pi over three, minus pi over three, and the argument for z2 is pi over three, which gets us zero. So, therefore, z1, z2 in the modulus argument form will be equal to r, which is 3 root 2, cos 0, cos 0 is theta, plus i sine 0. Like so. Therefore, this gives us 3 root 2, cos 0, plus 3i root 2, sine 0. And let's just put into our calculator to simplify 3 root 2 times by cos theta, where the, where the angle is in radians, will be equal to 3 root 2, because cos 0 is 0, sorry, 1. So 3 root 2. And we know that uh, sine 0 is equal to 1 because sine crosses the origin, therefore that's, it's equal to plus 0i, which is equal to not, nothing, like 0. Therefore the, the answer is 3 root 2. And lastly, express the following in the form of x plus i y when we have this. So let's set it as z1 on the top and z2 at the bottom. Therefore, the modulus of z1 over z2 is equal to the. Let's drop this out. Z1 over z2 is equal to the modulus of z1 over the modulus of z2, which is root 2 over 1 over 2, which is equal to 2 root 2, 1. And the argument of z1. Uh, z1 over z2 z2 is equal to argument of z1 minus argument of z2 which is equal to pi over 2 minus pi over 4 and if you were to simplify it, pi over 2 which is basically a half pi minus a quarter pi, pi over 4 and that gets us pi over 4 and therefore the answer will be in the, in the modulus argument form of z equals r is 2 root 2 cos pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4 and that gets us 2 root 2 cos pi over 4 plus 2i root 2 sine pi over 4 and if you were to simplify it, you'll get 2 root 2 times pi times by let's put it in my calculator 2 root 2 times cos pi over 4 will get us 2 so be 2 and 2 root 2 times by sine pi over 4 will be 2 so be 2 plus 2i and these are the final answers and this is for this question's video for 2.3 for the modulus argument form of complex numbers and I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe and bring the notification button to listen to any future videos and if you have any questions or comments regarding my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or type it out in your browser www.emiseasy.com And I hope you will find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be 2.4 for loci in an argon diagram for the rules and examples video, which will be interesting because it involves drawing. But anyways, I hope you'll find the video useful and helpful, and I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, stay safe, and happy learning.